You might be asking yourself right now, Ali, why are you wearing a hat and clutching at a leopard? Because it's freezing in Melbourne. For the first time, thinking about going back to England is pleasant because apparently it's hotter there than it is here. So I got my beanie and my leopard hot water bottle. So Elmo's feeling a bit jealous that, you know, he's not hosting today. Never gonna hear the end of it, trust me. But with my flight to England from Australia in just seven days time, I thought I would run through with you some of my long haul flight travel essentials to make that 30 hours a little bit more enjoyable. If you're a frequent flyer, or even if you're not, you probably know that the AC on planes, one, gives you horrendous dry mouth, but two, gets really effing cold when you're not moving about. So coming in at number one will be a pair of fluffy socks. Now, kind of a number two would be to get some flight socks, so you're not risking deep vein thrombosis and things like that, and your legs actually don't get as achy when you wear flight socks, but also take some fluffy socks, or what I'm gonna be taking, which isn't as space economic, it's not great for space. My penguin slivers. We went to Phillip Island this weekend and Daniel brought me these lovely fellows. So they're ridiculously large, but I love them. They're so cozy. So I'm gonna be rocking these out in the airport and on the plane. But if you're sensible, then don't take huge slippers or even get the fold up ones, then get yourself some nice thermal fluffy socks. And it's good to walk about on because everyone takes their shoes off. Don't be the one that's stinking up the plane with your feet. It's so cold. It's really, really cold. Next, which is comfort again, is to get yourself a neck pillow. This is an inflatable one. You can get the really soft beanie filled ones, but there's no way of compacting that any smaller. So I just got myself a brand new one because my last one broke. And uh, I, I hate the feel. That kind of suede it makes my teeth itch so I have to put like a towel or something around because it screws up really small huh <laughs> why did I do this ah uh, yes yes I'm going to be very comfortable on the plane uh, because even though long haul flights do offer pillows I find that they're not very supportive you're constantly scrunching either side trying comfortable so an inflatable one is perfect as the flight goes on, you're probably gonna start feeling really groggy. Um, if you have oily skin, then you can just feel really blah. Plus, if you're gonna be meeting people on the other end, you may wanna look a little bit presentable. So I would suggest getting some facial cleansing wipes because they do not count towards your liquid restrictions, so you can put them in your carry-on bag. Now, my only problem is I have very sensitive skin, I have really bad cystic acne, and most wipes I can't put anywhere near my face. I have to be very particular with everything that I put on my skin because I just come out in a rash or turn like a beetroot. So I went and brought the cheapest ones I could find because I'm really, really smart. Plus travel wipes are really good if you're having food and you're getting sticky and disgusting. They're just good for freshening up. The next is an essential is either earplugs or music. Now, I use my headphones if there is a screaming baby, and even if I'm not listening to music, then to be honest, these are quite good. They kind of like dull the sounds around me. But I would always recommend traveling with music, if, even if you don't wanna use earplugs to try and sleep, because you're gonna get super bored. There's nothing better than rocking a few tunes on a long haul flight, trust me. Going back to the air conditioning on planes and getting really, really cold, think about what you're gonna wear on the plane. For domestic or short haul flights, it doesn't really matter but when you're going to be spending over 20 hours in a tube, which is ice cold, then think about it. You're gonna get cold because you're not moving around so much. So what I would recommend for the ladies is to wear leggings or some comfortable combat trousers with leggings underneath. And I'm not taking this off, but a jumper, a thin fleece or a cardigan, you can get uh, blankets off the nice stewards. However, I would always recommend taking something to cover your legs and something to throw on over your t-shirt because you're gonna get really cold. Something else I can't not put into my hand luggage is my phone charger. Now, I will be using my phone to maybe take some photos, play lots of games, and when you come to your layover, wherever that may be, mine is in Doha, not Goa, Doha, which is in Qatar, um, I will definitely be hunting out a plug socket and I believe my plane 
actually has USB ports in the seats. <laughs> so exciting. Seriously, the smallest things excite me. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Ali, I'm an idiot. And then really, I only have one more thing that I can't not pack. And if you've been here a while, you might be expecting this item because I bring it up constantly in every kind of packing video and essentials video. It's my Kindle. Now, if you're a reader, then grab yourself a book or take your Kindle and make sure it's charged. I am um, <clears throat> dying, apparently. I recently got a new Kindle. This is the Paper White. I think that's what it's called, the Paper White. And it has a backlight on it, which is perfect because I can't stand those lights above. I feel they do absolutely nothing. So this one has a backlight in it and it's nice and gentle and it has a ridiculously long battery, like 30 hours, not a problem. This can last like weeks. I haven't charged this for about three weeks and I've been reading constantly. Something else I would suggest for the Kindle is, by the way, before I say this, I'm not affiliated with who I'm about to talk about and haven't been paid or anything like that, but I am part of Kindle Unlimited and it's £10 or $10 uh, a month and they have over 800,000 titles and you can just pick as many as you want for just 10 pound a month and that's great for people who read a lot um even if you skip a couple of months and you don't really download much you know we're all gonna have those months where we just go crazy and just we can't put our kindles down so look into it if you're a big reader and you're going traveling now, before anyone jumps on my back, yes, you need your passport, your ticket, your boarding pass, and all that good stuff, but I thought I'd just run through a few of the little things that I like to pack that maybe you don't. So, what do you like to pack? What do you have to have on a long-haul flight? And how do you make it as comfortable as possible? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm gonna go off and film a few more videos because I leave Australia in a week. So, I'm gonna film a few videos today and so if you notice, I'm wearing the same clothes and complaining about how cold it is for the next few videos, then you'll know why because I'm gonna be a bit manic now leading up to my leaving date, so let's get these videos done and you'll be looking forward to the next video because it's pretty exciting. Something's changing, you'll see what. Don't forget you can subscribe, keep up to date with all my channels and get some advice as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we all know the drill, the links are down below and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.